Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Go team! Hey everyone, it's Eric with He Played, She Played, and I am super excited to bring you the newest of the Assassin's Creed games for the PS3, Assassin's Creed Rogue. This is one of my favorite franchises in the entire world, and I am so excited to play it for you guys. So with that in mind, I don't want to waste any time. Let's get right to it. So every Assassin's Creed game, with the exception of perhaps the first one, which was a little repetitious, has been just a genius game franchise for me. So I cannot tell you how much I am looking forward to playing this. So let's see exactly where we go, huh? All I know about this one is this time we play a Templar. Stay my blade from the flesh. Stay of my blade. I can't I do an Irish accent to save my life. Never compromise 1752. The Assassin Brotherhood. Those are all phrases from These the Assassin's the Creed. Of the creed. See, just like I said, I all I tenets of by. the creed. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. Oh, that's cool. You could actually hear I the wolves running. Imagine what the future had in store for me. All right. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. The, the cost I would choose to My bear. Name is Shay Patrick Cormac. Shay this Patrick Cormac. Run across. One of my favorite things about all the Assassin's Creed games is the fact that you get to run across the tops of trees and buildings and... Ah, uh, it's always so, so much fun. Well, you won't like for Assassinate! Wait, what? Oh. I nearly had you. Bitches, you guys are friends. And besides, no. I was just looking. Oh, they cheated Why me. I thought I was going to start the Good game assassinating a guy. I've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Oh, instead... I spend it all getting out of trouble. Instead, well, it's just know, my best friend. Trouble just follows me around. Trouble follows me around. Let's head back. No, now I sound like John Lennon. Am so, I going too fast for you? I'm am just I... keeping an eye on you in case you fall down and hurt yourself. Am I an assassin already, or what? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, so this is, for those of you who've never played it, one of my favorite things in Assassin's Creed games. Whenever you get to these really high places, you get to do this cool synchronized move like this that A, it shows you the map, as you saw the map just popped up there, but it also uh, is just badass and shows you the location. And then you can do a leap of faith like this. Ah. It makes me feel right at home again. Welcome back, Assassin's Creed. I have missed you. The best not keep Chevalier waiting. Chevalier. The space. The where the hell were you two? Um, we were out over what there. We were just, were you know, running across treetops and Captain having a good Joseph. time and, you, you know, making jokes with each other. Like you're always saying. Yeah, Captain Joseph. It is Captain Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier oh. de la Derandry. Captain Louis-Joseph Gauthier. Any training would make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? Why do the French always have so many names? for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. Oh. Ours will win your freedom for the human race. I am it's not an words, assassin Chevalier. yet. I'm still training to be an assassin. I got you now. Oh. Well, you... Uh, yeah, you yeah. dick. Oh. Ha. Huh. It's so I can get the commands on how to hit somebody. How dare you Counter. Show such disrespect. I will show you all the disrespect I wish. Because I am a great fighter. Oh. Gentlemen, stop! Oh, I don't get to kill enemy. the captain. My close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. Ooh. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free those smugglers. You treat your wounded. Yeah, we will free those smugglers. That way, I get to do a mission. So this is my first mission: free the smugglers. And as always, there are optional objectives. In this case. The objectives were don't get spotted and kill everybody. Boom! First one dead. 
that chance of jumping out of, uh, uh oh, trying to do this without anybody spotting. Fuck. Ah, uh, damn it. He just, like, he was done. See, normally when they, I'm just gonna let myself die and try this mission again because that was awful. All right, that's one down. Oh, damn it. Did I get spotted again? Now for the best part of this game ever. Not only do I, can I kill one person from the air, I can kill two. Absolute genius. Ah, oh, damn it. Third time is the charm. You die. You die. Kill those two. Kill you before you actually spot me. There. That is my excuse. It has been about a year since the last Assassin's Creed game. I am out of practice. That is all. When I play this game on my own, I tend to be a completionist when it comes to Assassin's Creed games. Not most games, but Assassin's Creed games, I want to get absolutely everything. But for the purposes of this gameplay, I'm just getting the stuff that's easily findable as I go by. Hey buddy, now you're dead. This ship is called the Morrigan. Let's get this guy. Boom, and dead. Now to help make sure that nobody spots that, uh, uh, that he's here, this is something I learned you could do a long time ago in Assassin's Creed. Throw him overboard. Although I did always find it strange that if I uh, wipe out a guard, and then throw him overboard. People are people don't say, "Hey, where is Tom the guard?" They just say, "Eh, Tom the guard isn't there." As soon as he turns away, there we go. Kill that one, and then kill this one, and then quietly kill that one. That's all guards dead, and none of them spotted me. There we go. Oh, cutscene. Uh oh. Oh. Holy cow. Oh. Neat. I was wow. Saying that was for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't wow. be needing this vessel anymore. Oh, yeah. All the people who this were on that ship are dead. Mailed. You want her, Shay? She is yours. Don't bring me back to my ship. And now I have a ship. We could use another vessel. Even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? Hey, this no, isn't she... a pitiful ship. This is a beautiful a ship. A pile of garbage, yes. Hey, oh, it's not a pile of garbage. Don't be mean. Uh-oh. Okay, so shooting an iceberg is not necessarily the best choice. My first sea battle, let's do it. Oops, I missed. Oh, at least this game I can finally fire from in front as well. That was not something you, you could do very easily in the last time there was an Assassin's Creed game. So that's cool. Don't hit, don't hit the ship we're trying to rescue. Uh-oh. We hit the ship we were trying to rescue. There we go. This game is using much of the same technology as Assassin's Creed Black Flag, the game that came before it. Uh, although apparently they made some pretty significant improvements, not the least of which is being able to fire in front of the ship. That was a real problem in the well, last game, so that's cool set, that they've Shane. changed that. Time to report back to the so I, 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 I figured this game will Wise play a lot happen. like Black Flag, at least in most of what it does, and that's really cool, because Black Flag was one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. So the fact that I get to sail around and uh, use a ship again makes me super happy. And that is all the prologue, Assassin's Creed Rogue. We are underway. Uh-oh. Uh, wait, what was that?
So for those of you who have never played Assassin's Creed before, one of the joys of the game is that when you are playing in the past, Sorry for the rough exit. You're you are actually check. playing in you a virtual reality animus. world. Animus, yes? Yeah, see, you are in the Animus. You were using a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shake Hormac? You work for Abstergo Entertainment, remember? <laughs> Any of this ringing a bell. <laughs> your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. <laughs> we need to find your boss. Jesus. <laughs> you haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Uh, that's here, really take funny. Take a communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Okay, so... It's absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Wow, is she going to shut up long enough for me to actually talk to you guys? You play inside a virtual simulator, which is sort of a genius way to allow you to die and come back and die and come back because you're, hey, you are simply no, reloading off. the simulator, right? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby-trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. If Shea Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary... If Shea Cormac is who I suspect he is... Reward. All right, where am I going? Am I supposed to be going somewhere? Oh, yes, I guess I'm going to that green thing. In previous Assassin's Creed games, there have been these small puzzles that you have to do in order to hack into the computer or restore the computer or something of the kind. I assume this is the puzzle for this one. Right, that core was not complex. That core was a basic give it a try and we'll make it super easy for you one. That's really interesting. So They're showing us part of the original Assassin's Creed game. He, this guy on the screen was the villain of the original Assassin's Creed game, but they're telling us the story from Abstergo's point of view, which means it actually ends up being a positive story instead of a negative story. That's really interesting. With the servers back online, you could, in theory, restore your co-workers' workstations if you, you know, feel like being helpful. Well, I could be helpful. Wait, you're giving me the choice to be a good guy or a bad guy. I know you must have questions about your new assignment or about me. For now, all I will say well, is that you I do have questions about my assignment and, and about you because I don't know who you are and I don't know who I am. I'm I know who I am in the past, but in the present I am just generic guy who works for Abstergo. All right, as we come back to the Animus, we are in a different location, the Davenport Homestead. <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles. Oh, my gosh. Adewale. Adewale. That guy was a young man Very poorly, in afraid. one of the previous Assassin's Creed games. Your countenance tells me we should discuss In a this. Black Flag, he come. was a young guy. That's cool. So that tells you that this game is 20 or so years later than the last one. Time to go training. You are late. Oh, hello. Only the first hour of training. Wow, look at that dress. And we'll continue to do so. It's both very feminine and very sort of almost military in its nature. A pity. The boy has so much potential. With so little discipline. Well, right. you could discipline right. me any time you'd what like. What you have me do? Well played. See? Even my friend recognizes that, that uh, he was making a flirting joke at her. That's right. Flirt with the ladies, because I'm an Irish gent. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and shoot. Ah, shooting guns. Here. You can use these. Here these we go. Guns. Take your time. Not too much more work after this. Hello? All right, so I have to now run. Did I do it? Oh, yes. Not only did I get it, but I got it within 40 seconds. Well I got done, it within it the up. optional objective. What am I doing with the Shane, Native American? Follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. 
Okay. I think I've been managing well enough so I far. I think this whole country Perhaps. is frontier. Is this going to be about hunting or about crafting things? Although I hope I'm not being stereotypical and assuming that the Native American is going to teach me how to hunt. It is time for the hunt. Oh. <laughs> Nevertheless, if I am being stereotypical, then so is the game because the game indeed is having the Native American teach me how to hunt something. Okie I hope dokie. that you will demonstrate more skill to your other teachers. Wait, was that a dig? Were you saying that you hope I can, I can also show skill, or that I was a terrible hunter and you hope that I can show more skill, as opposed to the less skill that I showed you? If that was an insult, well then I don't like you, sir. It's about All right. time you showed up. Now the lady. the lady. Waiting. I'm no lady here. Don't you forget it. Hey. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. Oh, hang That's on, dude. Really that was an insult. Can I kill without being noticed? Sure, no problem. You certainly There's kill you from a bush. Stay low and stick to the That's killing somebody in a bush. You might hit your target. And Top shank. See, there we go. Everybody, mm -hmm. remain you undetected during the lesson. Man, this game is so pretty. Look at how beautiful this all is. Like, look at the details of the of the brick. Like, that's, I mean, that's, that's not just like the same pattern redone over and over and over. It's like they, they actually marked it as a separate level of brick. That's beautiful. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. Oh, see, the artifacts you will them. let you find or those none. places that were created by the aliens who lived here before us. Actually, I'm not sure if they were aliens or if they were simply the species on the planet that came before mankind. I've never been entirely certain about which they were. Jumping across the trees, because that's hands down the fastest way to travel in any Assassin's Creed game is to travel across the rooftops, across the trees, across the whatever. All right, let's sail. You know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his uh -oh. office all the time. All right, you Bench see that big papers. red circle that I'm just he sailing into? That means that this so area is uh, restricted. And, of course he and that yellow cone is a ship that has spotted me. So I'm trying to sail fast enough to get past it because my ship is not remotely upgraded at all yet. And that means that if I get into any fight, the ship could be destroyed pretty easily. Okay, so we're going to sail this way. Sail for the exclamation point. Oh, I have missed the sea shanties. Oh, I like the way they do docking this time. Now it actually looks like you're actually docking. That's cool. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Huh, interesting. All right, let's do it. Start mission. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it. Imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. Hey, don't call my ship a cesspit. So we are meeting a spy. Holy cow, humpback whale! I had the honor of working with him once. So we are Never sailing to go try so and find a cause. spy, and the spyglass is your best tool at sea. An English vessel, and she looks to be in trouble. That's fine. All right, well, that's what we're heading Perhaps for we then. Her journey to the bottom of the sea. Show them what's for, Captain. Come on, man. Okie dokie, Fire this is how on. you board. Oh, look, they actually have actual grappling hooks this time oh that's cool they did not have that last time as you can see when you get on a ship you have a given number of crew that you have to kill sometimes you have to do other things too but in this one it's a small enough ship that i just have to kill the five crew members and when i kill five crew members the ship will be mine this is exactly like pre the uh, black flag game it's exactly the same so I expect it to be exactly the same as how it works. Yep. Now they have surrendered because I have killed enough of the crew. Oh, still place? prologue. I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. What's on your mind, Captain? What is on my mind is to upgrade. 500 each, I'm going to buy both. There I have better armor, and there I have 
More cannons, finally. I've gone to the wrong side of my ship. This is why, in the real world, I would never want to be a pirate, because I get on my ship and I didn't went to the exact wrong side of the ship. I'd be a terrible pirate. Uh-oh. There are enemy ships thinking... Wow! They just devastated those boats. That's right. It's... You bet. There we go. Now I have lots more cannons. Which I actually have to hit people with, otherwise it defeats the purpose. Okay, I need to actually hit things. Because right now I'm not actually hitting anything. Wow. So, Shay talks a lot. He talks so much that my assumption is he stops becoming an assassin and becomes a Templar because people just tell him to shut up. Here I am trying really hard to make sure I do exciting gameplay for you guys, and frankly, he just he just talks so much. Uh, this, by the way, is a an abandoned ship. You only have a minute once you get to the ship to actually pull off anything you can find, steal whatever cargo you can before time is up, because when that time gets to zero, uh, the ship explodes. And you do not want to be on it when it does. There, I barely got off. Meanwhile, my ship is sailing to its own iceberg. Hey, guys. There it is. Auntie Costi. The chasseur should Auntie be there. Auntie Costi. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. We are here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I actually ran my ship into the dock. We have finally gotten to where it is we are supposed to have gone. There are these two things missing, and we are here to look for one. But so far, the game has largely been prologue. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Okay. More powerful Shasa, weapons. Shasa, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium drain. But where there no charts, no, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could get it. Where is the manuscript now? The, the man roast who brought beef. it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. Interesting. It's your turn to find him. Given that this Assassin's you, Creed sir, game has already played with General Washington as a character in the independent uh, uh, Native American one, Assassin's Creed 3, I find it interesting that they've named a Templar Washington. Well, there we are. We are finally underway looking for the manuscript. Uh, so I hope it's been fun for you guys. I'm really excited to be playing Assassin's Creed again. Please uh, like and subscribe and put comments in there. Let me know if you want me to move through the gameplay even faster because I can always edit it even tighter so that all you see is the actual action. But in the case of this game specifically, I think you actually might want to see some of the story while I fill in the back pieces for people who haven't actually played Assassin's Creed before, because by this point, we have a pretty substantial backstory to the franchise. Uh, so there we go. I will be back to this uh, tomorrow or the day after, as soon as I get another piece shot and edited. And until then, this is Eric. Bye.